Hello guys, this is Flying Dutchie and we are going to finish the Suzerain game. Um, I'm not streaming this because I th have a feeling we are done soon, right? <laughs> if you have followed the whole series, uh, we are now in a prison, so... <laughs> I think uh, the game is over very soon. <laughs> and that is why I decided to uh, record the, the ending. So uh, yeah, if you didn't watch the rest, uh, just watch the other videos first. Before this one, of course. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Very curious. We are waiting for the day of trial. So I'm not going to read everything. Because that's what I did not do the whole time. You have to read with me. Insignia of the Supreme Court. Don't just grab my arm and let me inside. Take a seat. I saw the flag of the Swordish Armed Forces. And down from the walls, covering the crest of the Supreme Court. was completely empty. Uh, except for me and the soldiers on guard, I looked at the vacant seats in the bench. Oh, there is there is the bastard. Joseph. You're not Dutch, you are a usurper. No, I don't. By treason, I would never betray my country. You know that more than anyone. The only betrayal here is yours against your democratically elected president and government. Shut your mouth. <laughs> He's so angry. Uh, you sweat on the very... It's clear to me that you are actually trying to destroy a country from the inside. And any enemy of Solomon must pay the ultimate price. What do you have to say to yourself? I've made sort of a better place. Every sort is living a pleasant life because of me. This is criminal. You, you have... Neither the right nor the authority to judge me. It doesn't matter what I say, does it? No, not really. See what this is. This is all a ploy to end Swedish democracy along with my presidency. I won't play along. Two, I will make it out of this and one day you will be sorry for your life. Three, uh, you know what? Screw you. I'm gonna do one. Uh, I will look back and curse your name for what you have done. You are wrong. They will thank you for getting rid of you. <laughs> oh god. No need to delay this further. Uh, the verdict. And... Chapter 4, checkmate. I think we got the death penalty. <laughs> From the military coup. <laughs> and this is why I did not... Um... Yeah. What is this? Joseph Lenzi uh, tapped the gavel. The sound echoed in the empty courtroom. Knowing what was coming next, you felt that you blamed only yourself, were angry at everyone who betrayed you, did your best for Swordland no matter what. Yeah. You did the best for Swordland no matter what. <laughs> the next words you heard were, I hereby decide that you are guilty. You thought about how you would go down in history as yes. the victim of yet another one, Swordland Scoops. Well, that's actually, that's the only thing I can click on. But he wasn't done speaking. For the magnitude of the crimes you have committed against her, I am sentencing you to life in prison. Soldiers grabbed your arms and started walking you towards the door. As you were walking, you worried about the future of your family, declared that you would take revenge, accepted your faith. Uh, now he will take revenge. 1959. Your cell was cold and lonely. The only decorations you put on the damp dark walls were photos of Frank and Diana. For a while, reading was the only thing you could do. After finishing the precious book sent by Monica, you kept yourself busy by writing your own memoir. You were happy that at least your family was allowed to visit once a month. Time flies in jail. 1960. You learned in prison that after two years, the military junta finally gave the power back to people. The political parties and the Grand National Assembly were re-established. You not care much. 
who thought that this could be your way out. Three hoped that someone would hang Joseph for his crimes. Well, maybe there's a way out now. 1964. Frank visited you for the first time in years, bringing along his wife and son. They reminded you of your own family in better times. You had your grandson for the first time. He squirmed and started crying in your arms. Frank told you that he had joined the ranks of the People's Freedom and Justice Party. You said you were worried for his future. Uh, told him not to get too deep into politics. After seven years in jail, Sordland's new president finally granted amnesty to political prisoners from the military rule days. You look at yourself in the mirror as you were packing up your belongings to leave. Oh my god! <laughs> we are actually leaving prison! You had grown old! Wow! You took your first step outside. Freedom felt good. Monica, Diana, Frank were, were waiting for you. Unfortunately, the years hadn't been kind to Monica, but they hadn't been kind to you either. Getting used to being a free man took years. You finally felt confident enough to plan out what to do with the rest of your life. You chose to have another shot at politics. <laughs> Retire to the countryside. Find an earnest job. Should we just go with politics? Because that's the whole the whole thing about this game. You know what? Let's click it. Another shot at politics. <laughs> 1973. You tried to get back into politics, but Sordal has changed too much. The political spheres formed after the coup had, uh, did not accept you. You had to work menial, throw at least honest jobs to get by. At least you were free. 1974. A week after your 66th birthday, a woman knocked on your door. She was a young upstart journalist fascinated by your life story. No matter what you did, she kept coming back. Finally, you gave in. She said she was working on a book about you. Uh... Yeah, let's help her. After many hours of interviews, she said that she had enough information and disappeared from your life. You looked up the name she had given you, but you couldn't find it anywhere. You suspected she used an alias. You wondered why. A knock on your door. It was the delivery man with a large heavy package. The package was filled with copies of books. There was a small note on top of it. Thank you. Carol Circus. Hey. That's the, uh, maybe that's the daughter of Circus. You picked up the book. It was titled Suzerain, the story of Anton Rain. You faintly smiled. Coup data. What an achievement. Is that gonna be it? Oh, there we go. That was the game. Fourth president of Sortland, 1954 to 1958. Vice president, Peter Vectern. Uh, succeeded by Josef Lancia. <laughs> with the military coup. And we preceded Alfonso. They were born in 1908. Yeah, so we were a millennialist centrals. We were a centrist. People don't like centrists. Oh my god. Those Swedish politicians? No. Oh. So, uh, Peter is the middle. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Lilias is very uh, close to solism. Of course, Dark and Sol is very solists. Gibbardar as well, Gloria Tori as well. These are Arcadian capitalists, of course. These are the. Uh, the reformist millennialists, these guys. Yeah. Interesting. This game is interesting. I'm gonna do another try, of course. I think in the next try, I will try to um, go with maybe capitalism. Become a full reformist capitalist. Maybe uh, the people won't get cranky when the when capitalism solves more money problems with our economy, but but people will be getting more cranky because of um, uh, well, they don't get what they need because we are supporting capitalism more than the people. It's very interesting this game.
At least we survived until the end of time. We were not killed in prison or getting life set, getting uh, our, the death penalty or something. But oh my god, this game, guys. If you didn't watch this, this whole series, you have to watch it. Because this game is amazing. It almost makes you feel depressed, really. Uh, okay, let's uh, click finish now. Let's see what happens. Are we going to the main screen? Yeah, there we go. Developed by Torpor Games. They are in um, Berlin. They also re retweeted all my uh, uh, tweets. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, that was it. I think I'm going to do a new run. Um, I think I will also uh, record it. Because why not? But it will be very quick. And we will click decisions very quickly because we know some of the things already. So we will go through the game very quickly. To see what happens with uh, other decisions, right? I think... That's going to be it for now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you in the next run for Suzerain. Thanks for watching.